Hi viewers, my name is Kara. I'm your host for Tuesdays on The Pagan Perspective, and this week we are talking about magic in pop culture, kind of. This week's topic comes from Cat Eyes 13, and in this case, I think it'll actually be very helpful to read what they said. Lately, a lot of my friends and co-workers have been making comments about magic, but most of them think of it in the sense of pop culture magic, and therefore a lot of the things they say aren't extremely accurate. For instance, they say things like, I wish I could be a witch, like Sabrina the Teenage Witch, I wish magic were real, or wands can only be made by someone who is a trained wand maker like Ollivander, Harry Potter references, etc. As these comments have increased lately, I'm finding it difficult for me as a pagan to know how to or even if I should respond to them. It's not like I want to get all preachy as I doubt they're even interested in actual witchcraft, but at the same time, I want people to be educated about my beliefs. The question is, how would you, or do you, react to magic references of a pop culture nature, and how would you advise someone to react to these types of comments? So first I'm going to tell you how I would respond to the examples that they gave us. I wish I could be a witch. Girl or boy, you can be. Simple as that, you can be. However, I wish I could be a witch like Sabrina. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I mean, don't we all? It's too bad real magic isn't like that. That would be awesome. I wish magic were real. Magic is real. The stuff you see on TV is not real magic, and that's unfortunate. I wish that stuff were real too, that'd be cool. Wands can only be made by someone who is a trained wand maker like Ollivander. What? <laughs> you know that's fiction, right? I've never heard someone say something that specific about Harry Potter, and I, I think that one's funny. I really hope someone didn't actually say that to you. <laughs> no, seriously, that, that was just made up for the books, it's okay. No, but really, I have happened upon instances like this where someone says something, and I do tend to respond, especially if it's a negative stereotype, but I pretty much respond every time anyway, and it's generally something as simple as, yeah, too bad that's not how real magic works, so I'm kind of agreeing with their sentiment, but at the same time putting that little seed of an idea in their mind that they're is real magic out there and it's not like what we see in the movies. Or if we're talking about movies, I might say something like, yeah, I really loved that it was really accurate to what witchcraft is, or it was very close to what witchcraft really is. Alternately, yeah, that was such a fun movie, but I wish it had been more accurate. So I pretty much just throw hints <laughs> at people. I never just go up to someone and I'm like, you're stupid, I can't believe you believe that, that's made up, because people do that to me about my actual beliefs, so why would I, why would I do that? That's, that would be silly. If it's somebody that I know better or I can go into a deeper conversation, I might say something more like, well, that's just how they portrayed it in the media, but in reality it's like this, and then if a conversation happens, okay, but most of the time they just listen and then go, oh. Especially if it's a hateful or negative comment about magic or witchcraft or making fun of it or saying it's stupid or not real or whatever, I very rarely let those things just go. Mostly I'll say something like, that's just how it's perceived in the media, but it's not actually like that and that doesn't mean that witchcraft and magic aren't real. The media skews things for entertainment, but it's not actually like that. Because I do want people to know that they shouldn't always just believe what they see or read, and hopefully most people are critical thinkers by this point and don't just believe things, but, I don't know, like younger kids or people who really don't care about what it actually is might watch a movie and just assume, okay, well, they did their research for the movie so I can believe it, and I just want people to know that that is not always the case. So to recap, do I react to these kinds of things? Yes. Especially if it's a harmful or negative inaccuracy, but pretty much all the time I'll say something, unless it would be like really inappropriate in that situation. How do I react? By stating the facts in a way that is not just, hey, let me teach you things because you are clearly uneducated, but more like, hey, remember this is fiction and this actually exists in the real world and it is not the same as the fiction. Real world is non-fiction. Like, no, I don't think I can fly on a broom, but I do know where that image originated. How would I advise someone else to react? According to the situation, you can judge where a simple casual reminder will suffice and where you have room to be a little bit more specific and maybe start a conversation or offer for an explanation. Some people don't actually care about real witchcraft and they're just saying something about a movie or a book or whatever, but I still think it's worth it to remind people that witchcraft does not only exist in the media and that the real thing is not exactly what they've seen, and that the media is not always entirely right. In fact, it is 
very rarely entirely right. But I would advise someone never to be rude and never to call people names. That's just what they're gonna do to you. You want to be respected and listened to, so you need to do the same. Don't call someone stupid for believing everything that Disney and Shakespeare say. Just laugh and pull a Dr. Reed and drop some random knowledge. No big deal. And here's an upcoming concern of mine. True Blood Season 4 has witches in it. And the trailers kind of made me think it might not be such a positive view of witchcraft, which is really frightening. And I do not want that to happen. I don't know about Season 4 very much right now. I don't know what's gonna happen in season four, so all I know so far is that the witches are supposedly creating chaos around them, and they are responsible for some bad things that are happening to the vampires, and they are apparently enemies of the vampires. I don't know, it just looks like it's not gonna be the best portrayal of witches ever. I don't know, I don't know what kind of witches they are, I don't know what the deal is, but I just don't want that to happen. Because we've taken so many steps forward with things like practical magic being really close accurate. I, well, you know, obviously the plot line is mediafied, but it's pretty good, I think. Even the craft glamorizes witchcraft, but still has a little bit of that showing how the intent of the practitioner really determines whether it's used for good or bad. And Charmed was also very glamorized, obviously with their powers and everything, but overall not a bad picture. I just really hope that True Blood's witches aren't going to be like a terrible example because I love that show and that would make me very sad and you know that I will be ranting if they are. So that's what I think and that's what I would do and I hope that maybe it'll work for you. I'm a poet and I don't know it. I have to edit this really quick because I'm about to go out and see Next to Normal so I will see you guys next Tuesday. Thanks for watching and blessed be.